really, friction is useful. It saves us from falling off cliffs, falling off walls, from falling off clocks, from falling off planes. So we should study friction. How do we study, how do we bring friction into information theory? Let's think about what friction really is. If you have a certain weight and you push it to a certain distance, frictional losses are proportional to the weight of the object multiplied by the distance to which you push it. Similarly, there is friction of information, which are called informational friction. If you have a certain amount of information, such as in this book, and you push it to a certain distance, then the losses associated with friction are proportional to the product of the amount of information and the distance to which you push it. Where is this useful besides carrying books around? It also shows up when you have communication of bits along wires or wirelessly or using lasers. All kinds of means of communications that you can think of in a circuit, for instance. So what I do is I use this model uh, and compute what is the energy required for encoding and decoding in a communication system. My earlier results were about wiring and explicit wire models in a circuit. But these results, which are more, uh, which use a simpler model, I think take the early results to a more fundamental level and give us an understanding of what is the amount of energy per bit for communicating.